everybody, Hello. I am here with Karen, who is not behind the scenes, but rather in front of the scenes today. This is why I am usually behind the scenes. Anyway, for a very special fourth Spooptober 2018 video, we wanted to revisit something that we did for Elise Navidad a few years ago and review some Neopets. Uh, we are both longtime Neopets players, like I'm talking almost 20 years for the two of us each. My Neopet turned 17 this year. So. My my original account was from 1999. But everyone there is dead. Yeah. So we decided that in the spirit of the season, get it? Spirit. <laughs> to go through and review each of the Halloween painted Neopets. And I'm super excited for this because I believe I actually do have at least one Halloween Neopet. Uh, do you? I have a Halloween Irie. I have a Halloween Ixie. So we'll go over those in just a second. I'm going to switch so that you can we're see. We're up in corner mode. We're up in corner mode. Ooh, this is a little different from the last time we did this. I also have a, uh, I'm pretty sure I have a new um, site theme because I'm using Fairy's Ruin. But we have our series of, we've got a lot of Neopets to go through. So I think to start, we'll go with um, the, good, old the Akara. good old Akara. Um, I like it. I like skeletons. I think skeletons are like an A-plus Halloween theme. I think it works very well. Um, if I'm correct, that is a garment yeah. that Akara wears. Yes, so, so you can cross paint. I think the actual uh, body color, paint color is different. I'm not sure. Well, maybe I'll pop in a picture if, if it is different. So, uh I think I give this one a thumbs up. I think this is an yeah. excellent Halloween neopet, even if I'm not a huge fan of Akaras. Aisha. It's so cute. I it's, it's a little devil. I'm biased. I I do love Aishas, which is funny because I'm not a cat person. I just love Aishas. Maybe you'd and like cats if they had four years. Maybe. Or six or even eight. Um I think that this is really nicely done. I love the little detail of the horns alongside the two ears. Yeah. Uh, I, I love the little devil suit. And this one, I can confirm, this is a costume. The body of the Halloween Aisha is just that, like the, the yellow, the yellow the face. Which is pretty cool, actually. I think that's really neat. But So yeah, so I like the Halloween paintbrush because a lot of them are straight up wearing costumes. Yes. Especially the ones that are wearing costumes that reference on-site you events. know, you know we're big fans of those if you've seen the uh, the Christmas one that we did a couple and, uh, years ago. I think when we pop over to our next boy. Ah, the best boy. The Blue Maru in a Count Von Roo costume. Not just a vampire costume. No, no. A Count Von Roo costume. And Count Von Roo is a gambling little man who lives in a coffin and he takes your levels away. Wakes up at three o'clock in the morning. Just Eastern to be, Standard yeah. Time. It's midnight. It's Neo yeah, Neopian, Neopian midnight. Time. Um, he wakes up and you can and challenge him in Count Von Roo's Deadly Dice. And if you win, you get an avatar and some levels for your pet. And if you lose, you lose levels for your pet and all of your training goes to waste. Pain in the ass, really. He can wreck you. He can really wreck you. Speaking of skeletons, the Bori. I think this is a spectacular Halloween costume. That's so different. What I like is there, there are going to be several skeleton and skeleton yes. themed costumes, but they're each like really different. But yeah, out. so there, there are several different skeleton styled Halloween Neopets and none of them are identical. I mean, obviously, because the body types are different, but I definitely feel like they do a good job of diversifying the way the costume works. Like, I'll, that's... The Akara had some, like, bone-themed hood on. Yeah. And the Bori actually definitely like, a full like a, a, Cubone a, skull sort of Yeah, basically. Going on. It's awesome. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, the Bruce... I think it's a little witch, Kind of right? let down. It's no, cute! It's, it's cute! It's you cute. could use that... With a different base color, because I yeah. think that the purple base color for this is a weird choice. I, I feel like it almost references the old purple Neopets yeah, because that used they to have had the orange, orange spots. spots. And if, if I'm remembering correctly, the orange Neopets were supposed to have purple spots, but they never implemented that. And, well, because Split Neopets yeah. are half purple and half orange. And that was a major plot point in 
uh, the, the Return of Doctor yeah. Sloth. Yeah. So Bruce is a good witchy I neopet. think it's good. I think that those wearables are super usable. That broom is super usable. It's just really cute. It would make a good it's... key quest plushie if it never happened. Oh. Next up, we've got the Buzz, and the Buzz. Buzz I... is only Moroccan Buzz and Baby Buzz are any good. There are some good Buzzes. This is not one of them. I feel like they had a good concept here. It's better executed in several other neopets with the werewolf. If only there was some, like, giant bug monster they could have referenced. But alas, we are stuck with... this. Because, like, okay, there are other insect neopets. Like, you've got the Rookie. But there isn't, like, a butterfly one I or a I don't even one. remember what the Halloween Rookie looks like. I think it's, there, um... No spoilers. Let's get... We'll get there when we get there. So next up, we have the Chia... You know what? Chia's... I think we talked about this in the last one. Chia's, everything here is working for me except for the friggin' shoes. Really? I'm okay with everything except for the, the shoes weird... shoes are pointing in, like, absolute opposite directions. I'm okay with everything except for the weird bottom lipstick. Oh, well, she's beautiful. She's got luscious, beautiful Chia lips. Chombi. Yes! That's a good one. Now that's that's Mumra, isn't it? Yeah, that is basically Mumra the Ever-Living. Anyway, this is a spectacular... I love... I love the detail of like the the, the cat like eye as the clasp. I love the helmet. I love the bone spikes. I love the mummy are those bandages. Contacts or is that the eye color of the base color? I don't remember. I'll have to pop it in. Because after customization came out, a lot of the paint colors that were just static images got broken down into components. Yeah. So this is some things are clothing. Some things are like actually on the base of the neopet themselves exactly. so they have contacts that change eye color but they also have permanent eye colors yeah and which, which definitely uh, uh stealthy is a good is a good uh indication of that yeah now the tail sock not my favorite you it's a little weird something about it to make it match but anyway cy bunny too basic for me. It's a little weak. Like, uh, it's a cute design. It only has one fang. No, this got a second fang. It's just but really, it's really hard to impossible see. Impossible to see. So, like, it's, it's bulk hard. up that second fang. Yeah, the the cape is a little. Eh. Um, it has eyebrows. It has angry eyebrows for sure. It's, I like um, the the coloring of the paw pads and stuff. But it just, it looks so basic compared to your regular, like, okay, if you found an unclothed one of those in the pound and compared that to just so a red regular cy red cy bunny. Very little, it's just slightly, uh, and maybe it's binicula, is that the joke? I guess. It's like binicula-ish, I a don't know. Bit. I don't know. Whoops, I scrolled. Drake! This is one of the few colors that I have never cross-painted any of my drakes. Because it changes their face shape. Yeah, I don't... I don't... I mean, I don't mind the Frankenstein's monster aesthetic. I just... Don't like this Almost one that much. Almost all of your drakes are, like, little princesses. So. Yeah, little goth princesses. I have the one... I have one male drake. I don't know. I, th I think I like it as a Halloween costume for drake, but I don't think I would want to commit... Yeah, I wouldn't spending those neo points because Halloween to paint, have that guy because Halloween paintbrushes, as opposed to the Christmas paintbrushes we reviewed the last time, way more expensive because people love them for cross paint ability. Yeah, because they love the clothes. Mm -hmm. And this one, you don't the wearables you get are not good enough. Yeah, the, it's just kind of it's kind of basic. It doesn't look like anything better than a zombie pet would have on. Anyway, um. <laughs> Could be, no, it could be better. Could be better. Not my favorite. It's a good, cute costume. But not my favorite. Elephant. Whoa, it's Zombomb. Uh, okay, so this is, and I'm not sure if you know this. This is one of the Neo Quest Two characters, Zombomb. He's one I of the love, villains. I love when they reference. I love that. I didn't stuff. know that this was one of the Halloween colors. This is. I've great. never seen a wild one. Like I've never seen yeah. someone have one. Like maybe if somebody had like a NeoQuest themed account. This is awesome. I think this is probably one of my favorite colors so far, site lore wise. Yeah. This is good. I love this one. Yeah, this one's fun. Also looks like Zoltar. A little bit. A little bit. Irie. I have Classic. one of these. 
They're so good. You can take all of the uh, paint and stuff right. off. So, so, so it's just a solid, gorgeous, yeah. basic black. Now, and, and like Karen was saying, in this instance, the bones, unlike the Akara where it's like a shirt, these are considered markings. So you can place them on other base colors. I believe the beak stays, stays white. white. I was hoping it would be black. But it's still really gorgeous. Yeah, but it's this not is... orange, so it's an improvement. Yeah, because the, the, the base, base ivory beak is orange, and I dislike that. Yeah, I think I think this is probably one of my top five Halloween Neopet colors. It just looks cool, guys. It's just nice. It's, it's just really nice. Flotsam. <laughs> now, I, I do love a sheet ghost. That guy looks bad, and I love it. The really cool part of this pet is that the base color is the red of the tail. So if you take off that sheet ghost costume, it is a blood red. Um, it's weird. It's a little weird. But it's cute, though. I it's like really it. It's really cute. I think Flotsam are... The stitch mouth is what I think is weird. Yeah. Because normally a sheet ghost uh, doesn't have that. Ooh. You know, I wonder what there this are would, also, I wonder what this would look like in the sheet ghost costume. There is a sheet ghost costume on Neopets. So. All right, so this is the Halloween Jellert. Ooh, I I'm a fan of this one. It's simple. I like everything but the I hair. I, that hair has to go. Well, you're in luck because it's a wig. Oh, thank, thank. I love thank the David Lord. I love the tail. I love how the tail is just a little bat. I love the. No, I don't remember if that's what what Jellert ears yeah. do. Yeah. Oh yeah. They but do I love how pointy they are. I love the fangs. I love the like the sideburns. I love the cape. I love the base color. The base color looks like a better ghost. Yeah, it is really nice. I would I would consider doing that because I have I have some Jellert. You do like, have some Jellert. That wig is Whoa. just wiggle 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 wiggle. wiggle. Bad. Yeah, the wig is... There's... I'm going to be picking on wigs, because that's, like, my cosplay specialty. Yeah. So if this was showing up yeah, in my you, cosplay if, yeah. contest, I'd be like, oh, everything's great. Your wig, though. Norbu. I love it. It's perfect. <laughs> he's a little hunchback. Yes, he is. He is... Um, he's a little, like, specifically hunchback of Notre Dame. I... The one thing I don't really like about it, and I, th I feel like it's a good representation of, like, hunchback of Notre Dame or whatever... I feel like the hair is really flat there. Like you could have given it a little bit of altitude or something. Especially if it's if it's like basically parallel with your hump. I think this is a good general Halloween neopet. I cannot see somebody I using this was... as like a base color. Yeah. It's kind of You dingy. lose a little bit of uh, that Norbu charm because I, I don't think that's a wig. Uh, is it? Because I don't know. It blends straight into future the rest release. Of the main. Is it a wig? Wow! Now we know. Crawl. Hey, he's pretty good. There's Generic, a lot there's, of there's a lot of vampires. There's a lot of vampires. Because there's there's only so many like acceptable Halloween, Halloween costumes, costumes they can do. Um, eh, it's it's okay. I I ain't hate that. I feel like those could be fun pieces. I to like use. the base color. I feel like those could be fun pieces to use in a cross paint. The teeth are the best part. Yeah. Because Grarl teeth are pretty good to begin with, but those... Now there's more. Those are some choppers. Grundo. Oh, I That's forgot. a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I don't remember ever seeing this on site. I that love... That scythe is huge. I was just about to say, I love the scythe. I love how perfectly it works over the curve of the antenna there. I love how that, I believe the cloak is just one big piece. I, I don't, wonder what I the don't... base color looks like under that. Is it just white or? It might be, but it might also have the glowing eyes. I'm not sure. We'll check. Hissy. Another pretty good skeleton. <sighs> this is one of my favorites. I love Halloween hissies. Halloween hissy are cool because they keep the yellow eyes and you can kind of see they've got red spots under there. So if you take off the skeleton casing, it's just a regular snake with arms. It's really cool. I like this. I think this is a very simple, elegant pet. And yeah, and it's also like real shortcut to badass. Yeah, because it's got the fangs. And there are a lot of the Neopets colors tend to be cuter than they are tough looking. So if you yeah. want that tough 
character for your Neo pet. It's hard to find That's sometimes, especially. A good one. I don't know if they have improved on the amount of masculine clothing on site, but for a very long time, wasn't really a lot. Ixi! Okay, my biggest complaint with this. Now, I have a Halloween Ixie. I love Halloween Ixie. Before conversion, Halloween Ixie had green eyes. Yeah, that's what I'm remembering. I'm like, I don't know what So Oxy's what I did in my, there's a, a pair of contacts called like the scary green contacts or something like that, that I've used on my Neopet to kind of Recapture. replicate that. Other than that, I think she's perfect. I love yeah, the little really devil cute. tail. I love the little horns. The only thing that's a costume piece on this is the collar. collar. Yeah. Um, so everything else is is the tail and the wings and all that. They the are hooves. on the body, the base body mm -hmm. of the Ixie. So it's so cute. Though. If you don't want those, go with a different Ixie. They make red ones. Do you remember when Ixie were limited edition? Jetsum. Socks. All right, so you know we're just gonna go straight to the next one, the Jub Jub. Oh, I'm Brent. Look at his little foot. I love when they do when they go big with uh, with Jub Jub. How they go, like with the the cloudy Jub Jub that's just a freaking cloud with feet. Mm -hmm. um, they, I love the pump the, the Halloween Jub Jub is just a straight up pumpkin. That's really cute. I love that's it. That's a really cute one. I think this is one of the best uh, replications, kind of. Kachik. No, that's a Frankenstein, though. That's better than the Drake. I think this is better than the Drake. I still don't really care for it. I think there's a lot more you can do with it because it does just sort of become a cute yeah. cheek color. And it's not the same color as the just green. I think that Mutant would have been a better version. What they have is the Mutant Kachik with the, the big scary teeth and the brain would have probably been a better Halloween. Cow! It's a I lot was... like the Irie. So the thing, the, it's, it's be no, funny, it's more the like things the you Akara. like about the Irie are going to be the things you don't really care yeah. for. Yeah, I feel like this this one's definitely more like the Akara because it's more of a suit. Um, Is it? Does that? Yeah, it's not it's a face suit. Color? I was hoping, beyond hope, that when I clicked the cow, it was going to be Calvara because there's there's a couple of cow characters on on site. That would have been really good Halloween interpretations, Calvara being one of them. I was about to say, if you don't know who Calvara is, but you're watching the video about you're watching a video reviewing Halloween Neopets, and if you yeah. don't know who Calvara is, then you've never met a single restocker. Kiko! Not as good as the Jub Jub in yeah, my Yeah, because opinion. the face is creepy on this guy. It's a little inset. Like on um, okay, if I if we He's go back He's wearing a pumpkin. Yeah. He's not. If we go back pumpkin. to the Jub Jub like, yeah, it's it, obviously he's, like, in the jack-o'-lantern there, but it doesn't look as creepy as the Kiko. The Kiko is also, he's got, like, armholes. I like the stem on mm -hmm. the Kiko. That's really good. But it's definitely not as cute as the Jub Jub. Yeah, I mean, I know they have to have the plaster. It's just kind of like he Kiko doesn't, tradition, doesn't but... doesn't have an open mouth smile, uh, and no one... Yeah, that's the weird thing. Jack doesn't have an open, has mouth, an open mouth Koi! That's a pretty cute. good one. That's, that's a cute. That's a cute devil. The pitchfork is good. The pitchfork is a nice little accessory. He's um, very shiny. Corbat, boring. Very. The boring. hat's really cute. Unfortunately, the only wearables are the hat with the nose. Do you have to have the hat and the nose at the same time? Yes. Oh no, that's so not usable. Yep, because yep. I, I zapped, I have a Corvette and I was zapping her for a while and she turned Halloween. So is the, is the face green? Yes. So the face is green, the body is gray, the feet are yellow, the ears are white, the tail is white. This is not my favorite Corvette design. There are much nicer Corvette designs. Yeah, I wouldn't do, there are, and there are better Corvette specific wearables. Cobra. It doesn't strike me as particularly Halloween. It kind of strikes but me it's as a, Darigan. It's like halfway between a Darigan Terranian and Halloween. Like it's yeah. almost. It's you know this is one of those if you if you're a furry you probably really like this one. Tell me I'm wrong. You're not wrong. It's it's a re, it's a particularly cool looking Kugra, but nothing says Halloween about yeah. it. Yeah, Croc. Let down should have been Mr. Crawley. It should have been Crawley, but a lot of the Halloween colors that are site references 
are really, really great when they come out for people who were there at the yeah. time. Tale of Woe was 12 years ago now. Oh boy. I feel like what I don't like about this one is that it feels like it's just a green croc wearing an outfit. There's Which no is, difference. I like that it is like heavily leaning into the this is a costume but aspect. But there's no difference between the base of this and the base of a green croc. I will also say I'm sure that that skull and that suit are wearables. You can swap that body paint and like paint him shadow yeah, or something. Yeah, you can, you can cross paint. Like that cuz that that skelmet that's, yeah, is going to be is really cool. good. The skelmet is on cool. other paints. Okay. Kiri, much really better, good. much better version of the Buzz. Um, I think that the Kiri as a werewolf There's is a few werewolf super good. ones, and I like the Kiri. Yeah. I like the Kiri the best. Kiri is a very, very well executed one. I love how, like, wild it looks. It's also better looking than, like, all of the other Kiri's post-customization. Yes, Kiri's because... look terrible post-customization. So I think that the Kiri is one of my, like top five. Lenny. That's good. Yeah. It's just a nice, wicked... That's a good witch costume. It's a good witch costume. As opposed to the... 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 It, the, Col the Kier Kiri. No. Corbat. Yes. Yeah, so as opposed to both the Corbat and, in my opinion, the Chia. I think this is a much nicer version. Loop. It was used so to be... much better pre-customization. Because now it's just a hairy dog yeah. when it used to really be the werewolf. And well, I will pop in UC Halloween loops. They used to be up on their hind legs with these big, like, like haunch hul shoulders. Like, hulking anger, kind of. Like, definitely looked like a transformation had undergone. This doesn't look much different. For the sake of uniformity, I get why they did this. Yeah, I don't it like just, it, though. It's a it's a big letdown. It's and just a slightly hairier brown dog. Yeah, and that's why and I, I think that... Hoops. And that's why I think that the Kiri is a way better version. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mirka! Oh. oh it's so cute. That's I don't so want to hate it. Yeah, I don't... I Actually, I don't hate this. I, I don't hate I feel it. Like I like it's the simple. base color. I like the wings. I feel like it's a little simple, but I think that it gets the point across. Mohawk! It's Dr. Sloth. It's Dr. It's Dr. Sloth. Sloth! It's, it's Dr. So Sloth. so good. Um, That's a good one. I will say, unconverted Halloween Mohawks are spectacular and incredibly rare. I don't remember what they even look like. He's got the cape up like oh. that. They're so cute. Ugh. Halloween Mohawk is an A plus from us. Yeah. Mincy! Not as good as the Grundo. Oh, it's absolutely not as good as the Grundo. We're admittedly not fans of Mincy to begin with. I don't like the little, like, like the mushroom jelly roll nose. nose. Oh, you see that? Okay. Um, they got a jelly roll tail and a mushroom nose. Uh, I, I like this one because this is really, like, third grade Halloween costume. Yeah. So I, I like it because it's very, like, kids it's Halloween yeah, costume Yeah, it's very, very kitty. But I also am, like... Well, how do you have hair coming out of your hood? Yeah, from there. Are you? And uh, it's still a mincy. Yeah. Are you ready you for some more that. disappointment? Oh, I don't know if I am. Nim oh, I forgot. What? I thought it was gonna be lame as hell. This is a really cool Nimmo. Are those wings? Or yes. Like, Cause it's a. Oh, I like the tail. Yeah, I like the tail. Um. Okay, so this one's devil. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I this might be the best devil. It doesn't. And have I can't horns. believe I'm saying that. It doesn't have horns. Yes, but you could put some on in customization. They they exist. I love those wings because it's a it's just a cool crescent moon behind them. Yeah. Like a sal like a mega salamance. Yeah. Piafin. That's a sexy witch costume. I feel like this Piafin went to like Yandy.com and got some like sexy witch costume for like 40 bucks yeah it's just like warmers and a cape yeah. and the hat the hat is nice the hat's a good hat i feel but like the leg warmers would be useful if you were doing a different costume that wasn't yeah I also that base color not good the base There's color so is just a regular blue pfm are you ready for a complete change of pace am i poogle Okay, this is a snow beast. Right, this so this is a reference. site reference. This is the snow beast who is a battle dome challenger. Um, I love it. This it's really good. There is the snickle beast pet pet that matches really well. Yes. And 
they're costume pieces except for the teeth. The teeth stay on. Um, I think this is one of my top favorites. Yeah, my top it's a favorites really good one. because it works as an on-site costume, and it also just works as like, oh, that's like an abominable snow monster. That's a monster. Yeah, it's a yeti. So I get it as a costume, and you can see the stitching on the costume, which like really reinforces like that this a is costume. a Halloween costume. Yeah, this is this is epic, Terry. That's is... old. That's an old one. No. What? This is a more recent design. Oh, waity wait. Is that one of the like first uh, post jumpstart ones? Might be. <laughs> it I'm, really it's... looks. <sighs> that fooled me. That fooled me because that looked like Donna came up with it. Yeah. This is this is very just basic Dracula vampire. The wings are not. They're not nice. They're not nice. They're not I don't functional. like how they turned the wings into a cape like that. It doesn't work. Quiggle! That's Whoa! A good, that's a good one. That uh, is a good one. I've never seen this one before. This must be one of the most recents. Uh, that's terrifying. I love it. I it's love the, like, picker. the muddy shovel. I love how his, like, his one eye is kind of glassed out. I gotta say, this might be a reference we don't exactly get. So if it is, and you know what it is in the comments, let us That's know. That's true. I, but I know from it. just here, that is a cool, like, Neovian grave, grave digger. digger. Yeah. Rookie. It's Classic. a mummy. It's, it's so mummy. good. It's base an avatar color, pet. Base color's good. Ba the eyes are good. The wraps are good, because it, it just everything about this it is, is really This is a really, really solid and Rookie. Scorchio. It's a Neovian gentle. Oh, wait, that's like a that's like Dr. Dr. Jekyll or Hyde. I yeah. like it. I like the hair on him. Yeah, actually. I like I like that. I think that this is I mean, Scorchio are kind of like trash tier dra dragons on Neopets now. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say Scorchio's are trash tier dragons. Wow. Hot takes on the Elise Explosion channel. Yeah, I do, however, feel like this is one of the better dressed Halloween pets. Yeah, I think this is all a really of those good wearables one. are useful. Yeah. in other contexts, that yeah. staff with the skull, like the skull I cane, love that's that. great. The base color, the gray, is great. The teeth are great. The hat, the eyebrows, that's really got it going on. Good shit. Shiru, lame. It's cute though. It's really cute because it's definitely like I made this out of a sweatsuit and my mom helped. Because, like, I like that they did the little cloven hoof. I do like that. I think that's cool. There but, are some I mean, details Then I take this. that and I compare that to the, the um, I'm sorry, the Nemo? Mm, no, no, no. Skeeth! That's a good Ooh. Frankenstein. That's this the is, best Frankenstein. This is the best Frankenstein. I uh, feel like well, it's, it's like a Frankenstein's monster, but yeah, I just it's say a Frankenstein. monster. I feel like this is a good re- like, it's like a zombie Frankenstein's monster. Well, no, you can really see the patchwork of yeah. this of, like, body was cobbled together from, from like, other bodies. Yeah. And you can see, like, the rotten clothes. The bolts and in its neck. They I, have the, the thick, heavy shoes. The, both wings are different colors. Yeah, I think this from, is- this is really well done. Best executed yet. Yeah. Of the of, of the, the Frankenstein monsters. Monster based pets. A plus in my book. That's a good one. Teko. Oh. Not as good as the Rookie. Yeah, but like I think it predates the Rookie quite a bit. I like that it has the same base colors as the yeah, Rookie. Yeah, I feel like it's it, you could um, have those two on an account to just have like a theme account. I also like this is one of the best Tekos because Teko always gets the short end That's of true. the stick. That's true. That's true. Tanyu. Not bad. It was, reminds, this reminds me a me lot of, of the Drake. It reminds me a lot of the Kachik. They're all the same. Yeah. Yeah. They're Yeah, and and then you compare that to this no contest. Tuscanini. Lame. I feel like they were going for almost like a strong bad look. I feel like they were going for like a cross between a luchador and a devil, and it's just not working for me. They got the vampire cape and teeth and the devil horns and the uh, red rubber suit. Yeah. Um, that's what I don't like about it. It's too it, shiny. It does look like it's wearing like a full latex suit, which um, I think is... Too fetishy for Neopets. Not appropriate. <laughs> it's not appropriate. Uni. 
Yes! That's this might be the best Halloween pet. It might this be. This is the Night the Steed. Night Steed. From the Lost Desert. Return of Curse of the Lost Desert? What was it? I don't remember. It was just called LDP. LDP. Yeah, we did used to just call it the LDP, the Lost Desert plot. This is such a good and oh. Because it's a reference to an on-site character, an on-site event. And it's um, also badass! Look yeah. at those, the skeletal wings where it's like rotting apart. Yeah, because bad things happen to Nightsteed and he got stuck that way. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Cute. It's cute. It's, it's cute. cute. It's just as basic as all of the other devils. It doesn't have horns! But, no, but it's got little teeths and it's... it's I like that is an this early, is like a, early one. Yeah. All right. I remember what this looks like to you. I, <laughs> uh, that's more of an Igor. Yeah, that's this is more, more of like an a, Igor than an a Igor. Like, hey, boss. I don't know. I um, boss. What does Igor say? He's like shuffles in with carrying a like, jar of brains. He's, brains. I've got the brain. Like, this is a Peter Lorre impression turned into a Neopet. Yeah. As we talk. Handsome. I love it all except the eyes. Slap some contacts on this guy and we'll be fine. The one thing the that gloves. I'm going to say is I love it. The color palette is super different. That red isn't going to match anything else on the entire site. Yeah. So you're going to have to really carefully carefully customize that guy. Or slap a uh, key quest necklace on it and take the rough away. Yerbal. Yes! Yes. The Tags Beast! The Tags Beast! Oh, is another so good. Sight Sight character reference. costume. I love them so um, much! And you can- I, I really like this one because it's like very handsome looking. You can see all the stitches. Um, this even the really money good. bag is stitched up. This so is really that's, cute. That's really really good. good. And unfortunately we are ending on a poor note because Zafara... Uh, it's the coolest Zafara. That's not saying much, because Zafaras are still not great. But I don't think anybody creates a Zafara and then goes, I'm gonna make this one tough. And that's all of them. That's it! That's all of them! We've gone through every single Neopet. We Halloween color. Yeah. Halloween colored Neopet. Um, I'd say that my top favorites probably... Um, I say, so I would say for me, the Yerbal was great. Uh, I love the Poogle. Uh, the Quiggle was surprisingly great. Yeah. Um, and what, the, uh, the Elefante sleeper hit that I was not expecting. Yeah, because that one surprised you. That was a big surprise. I really liked that. Um, and probably, I'm going to go with the Kiri. I was going to say, the Kiri is definitely the best of the, uh, werewolf The werewolf. Really nice. There's a lot There's of, a lot of really great Halloween yeah. Neopets. pets. And there's a lot of problems that are fixed just by swapping out a wig. Yeah. Or, you know, slapping some contacts on. So which I think now is possible. Yeah. I think that for me personally, I'd say Halloween is one of my top colors on Neopets, and I always look forward to seeing what's been released because we do not, yeah. as of yet, have a Halloween Vandegeier. No, we don't. Um, I don't know if we're missing any others, but Vandegeier is... I'm looking forward to what that can be, because Vandegeier has a lot of potential. So, thank you, Karen, for hanging out and talking Neopets with me. Um, that was pretty good. I'll do that again. We will do that again. We'll see. So, thank you guys so very much for hanging out with us. Uh, question of the day... What was your favorite of the Halloween Neopets that we just went through? And if you didn't like any of them, tell me what you would change it to. If you didn't like any of them, I'm sad. I'm sad too. It's a also, really good I'm one. Also, I'm sad we wasted your time with like half an hour of Neopets chat and you don't like any of them. Anyway, so that's all we got. Uh, my social media links are in the description below. If you'd like to see more from my channel, uh, I will link the Christmas Neopet review that's at the one. end of this that's one. That's a good one. Um, if you'd like to see more from this channel, hit that little subscribe button, click the little bell. If you want to stay in the know, bell's the way to go. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.